So today I wanted to give you guys a quick review on some hair dye. Um, I did color my hair black and some of you do know that that I did have like a hair color journey that that I was like just coloring my hair um, different colors. Um, I went from like black to brown to every color in between. There's a video you can go check it out and it's you know it's pretty good detailed. Um, and I did mention in that video that I did probably want to go back to black eventually after I got my fix and doing all those colors. Um, so here we are and I'm very glad I did it. Um, there's like nothing that, how do you say it? Like once you go back, it's like you feel so like, okay, it's like your home, your starting base. Um, you feel like, okay, it's easier, okay, it's done. It's just um, easy to keep up with. And overall it makes you feel like um, just Going back to square one, just it's refreshing, you know, after just kind of messing with your hair doing stuff. So, and some of you do know um, on my other videos that I do have, I, well, I had blonde hair. Um, so underneath the black is the blonde hair. Um, I had blonde and then red, well, technically red. So I had blonde and then red. So there's a lot of bleach, um, probably from like right here down, there's bleach. And so the ion colors that I chose to do my hair were a demi. I chose, um, I chose two boxes of um, Ion Color Brilliance, um, and the shade One and A Blue, Blue, Blue Black, and um, well, Blue Black, and um, it's a demi, so it's not uh, permanent. Um, it's ammonia free, PPD free, and I've always used them for years, and they're always my go-to for my demis. Um, so the, like the key points that I really enjoy about it is, um, the ease of the consistency, um, the, it's very, the maximum shine, light reflection, it says here, it's ammonia free, and it's very gentle on my hair, and it feels very nourishing on my hair. So I do really like that. Um, and then I chose for the roots. So since I had regrowth, um, I chose a permanent from Ion, the Ion Mind, um, this one's called the Inspired by Nature um, by Ion, um, and I sh the shade 2A Midnight Blueberry Black. Um, I chose permanent, obviously, because I had a regrowth, and like I said before, I mentioned about this is being bleached hair, about, you know, it was light, light, uh, red, faded, so I added the black. And adding the black demi to bleached hair kind of acted as a per permanent. So, you know, that's what the steps that I took to get this. Um, and then I paired it up with um, the ION series um, Sensitive Scalp um, Developers. I used a 10 for the length with the Demi. And Demis, you can use a 10, maybe, I know they do have, um, some companies have five and six volume developers. I used it with the 10. And then I used the permanent, I mixed a 10 and 20 to make a 15. And that was for my roots. And the only reason doing that, I could have just used the 10 on the permanent for the root, you know, the regrowth. Um, but since this is a blue, uh, blue black, um, I figured just give it a little bit more of a pop on the blue to uh, amplify the volume on the developer. I should, I could have used a 20. It would have been a little probably more of a blue black, but it's no biggie for me. So, um, like I said, that's so what I did. Um, and I just, like I said, I mixed them in separate bowls. Um, first I did the demi, then went back and did the, the roots, and I had no complaints. My hair felt so good. Um, my hair is very shiny. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, there's nothing that I can tell you that there's a complaint on it. Um, the staining, um, around your face, I don't find a problem with the demi. Um, with the permanent, um, on this one, it does kind of stain, okay, the Inspired by Nature ammonia free does stain your hairline so you kind of want to use with caution and then you put vaseline or a barrier around your hairline i mean but it comes off maybe in the second shampoo or something like that it's no biggie it doesn't bother me at all and this one i did notice the one difference that i did notice from the regular ion um, lines and stuff is this one that's uh inspired by nature 
um, didn't seem to have um, like a high shine, um, high shine to it. And I'm pretty sure it's because the silicones are pretty low in it. But I, like I said, it's, uh, you know, ammonia free. It says it's gluten free, vegan, uh, PPD free, and 100% great coverage. Um, it does 100% great coverage and it's cruelty free. And it's made with with 100% natural pistachio and almond and avocado oils with grapeseed. And like I said, I have no complaints with it at all. Consistency was great. And so were the, the demi, the consistency of the demi. So just wanted to put you guys on it. Maybe someone out there is searching uh, for a, a nice uh, blue black. And, um, you know, maybe, like, well, I know it's like in certain lightings you get the blue, the blue black. And in other lightings it's just jet black which I'm fine with. So I adore it. I think it's it looks good. It's healthy. It's shiny and it's rich. So I have no complaints. So I hope that, and you know, anyone searching, um, you know, I can help you out and um, enjoy. And um, I'll bring you guys more reviews. Stay tuned. And um, like I said, I just wanted to bring a real quick review on this and just to put you guys up on it. If anybody might be looking for some eye on some black, jet black hair, blue black or whatnot. So um, you guys take care and uh, stick with your girl. Bye.